it's your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is Tidewater Point, episode 22. Uh, I had a lot of T's in that one. It's uh, good alliteration by myself as I pat myself on the back. And here we are, uh, still with Thomas from the episode 21. And he is uh, breaking this train up right here. Uh, and he is eventually going to be going down to the lower yard uh, to get these out here. Now, uh, I went through and figured out where these tankers are going, but you know what I'm thinking now? I messed up. Yeah, because these are all inbounds here that are all going to places. <laughs> these are all going to River Point, actually, are they not? Uh, Walmart, yeah, that's over on that side. That's all River Point. So that's all going over to the River Point side. So, okay. So all of this uh, that's on here is going to have to go on track one, which is where we're at right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's put those all on River Point. Is there going to be room to put them on River Point? I'm going to say yes, there is. All right, so let's come back over here to Thomas. Thomas is still hooked up where he left off the last time and let's uh, set the handbrake whoop don't do that uh, decouple there we go and we are going to pull forward here alrighty right here so that whole cut that's left on the inbound track now is going to be going on to track one. So eventually it can head on over to River Point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why don't you hand the bell now? You're good. Nice job. Yeah. Of course, Thomas in his. SW1500, but if we look in the windows here, he's not actually in there, is he? No. He must be wearing Harry Potter's cloak, so you can't see him. All right. This entire cut, like I said, is going to go on track one. Now, before I started the video... I looked at those tankers over there on the far track. I forget what track number it is. Uh, and figured out where I'll, where they need to go. And then when I started the episode, I glanced over to this track. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you know, you, you want to do a little bit more homework than that for your uh, YouTube videos. But uh, you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. But I figured it out. So it's all good. Okay, here we come down here now. Mm-hmm. A little late on the horn there. But in the end, it still happened. These are all going right over to track one. That switch is already set correctly. Now the question is, can I crack open a Coke and pour it, not spilling it, and still stopping the train when it needs to stop? The answer is yes. I can do all that. Boss cars on the end, as we saw, were all going to Walmart. Okay. Stop it right there. And let's back her up, people.
we're gonna fly over here, flip around, get on down on this one. We're gonna see uh, this one up close and personal. One car. Half. You're good. Not gonna charge the brakes. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna back this one up all the way until it gets past the frog right here. All these well cars are going to uh, the uh, River Point container yard. Now, th there's already a train over there, if I'm not mistaken, already working for the River Point container yard. So, uh, yeah. That is one busy container yard. Especially for how small it is. Just a little bit. Four a little bit. There you go. And stop so the uh, conductor can jump back on now. <clears throat> We're going to check the length on this one. All uh, right, yeah. More than enough room, and I think my... Yeah, right there. So there's more than enough room, and we ain't got to get it out of the yard yet. All right, now we're going to do what I planned on doing from the beginning... That is to go get those tankers and run them down to the lower yard here in Tidewater. Yo. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I was assuming all the switches were going to be right, and then I go flying by and notice at the last second it is not correct. Okay, now it is. Old yard tower there. tankers. Two ethanols up front. And then we have four diesels in the back. Five diesels in the back. What I meant to say. Um, <clears throat> Alright, well, let's, uh, before we start going into that, let's, uh, let's make sure we got this set up correctly. Yeah. 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 Okay, come on, baby. Two ethanols are going on to track eight because they are headed off map. And then uh, the first uh, two diesels are headed to the Tidewater dock area, right in this area here. They're going on track five. And then the last three diesels are going on to track eight as they are also leaving the map. Oh, 
called the dispatcher, and we got uh, permission to come out here on the main line. <clears throat> yeah, I got stuff in my throat again. Happens. It happens when you get older. I have found it anyway. Maybe not for you. Maybe you're not old. Okay, so these last three are going to track eight in the lower yard. And right over here, track eight is dead ahead. How's about that? Well, then we're going to backwards here and ride last car Clear the intersection? Yes, we are. Ooh, I kind of like that shot right there. Nice. So these last three are going off maps. There's one, there's two, and that should be the third one right there. We'll check again once they're in place. Those should go right there. Am I, am I right? Yeah, Tidewater out. That's what I'm calling them, the old Tidewater outs. Of course, now I should have done that because I want to go here now, right? So this is Tidewater. Oh, no, this is... Uh, eh, what am I doing? Going the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Okay. So this one... Okay, no, no, no. Because no, I'm looking at the wrong end. Okay, so this is Tidewater out right here. This is Tidewater diesel. Okay. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. All right, so apply the brake here. I am correct. And uh, he's facing... Yeah, he's facing that way. Now these two are going to track five because they're going to go to Tidewater Dock area. Next two, we're going to stick over on to track five. There's seven. There's six. Wait a minute, what's six? Six is also Tidewater Dock. All right, so we have we have cars on track six and on track five, and they're both going to Tidewater Dock. I don't like it. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come over here to Tidewater five, and we are going to pull these off of Tidewater five, these two flat cars right here. Yeah, here and there, and then we're going to put them all here on Tidewater six, on track six, I should say. Yeah, simply because I want to all be in the same line because that's what I want. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. 
Let's go back and get those flat cars. Hear this with Bondo or something? Both these tracks are for Tidewater Dock, uh, for the dock area right here, but I want them to all be on the same track because as you know, or maybe you don't because maybe this is the first time you watch me, but uh, I don't uh, have anybody come here and take these cars out of the yard until they reach a certain length, which I have marked off on the track way back here like I just showed you on the other track. Uh, and therefore, if you put them in two lines, uh, on two tracks at once, that opportunity to get them off of there is going to be you know, take longer, obviously, to fill both tracks. So we're going to fill one at a time. This is track five kind of leads up to the uh, engine shed up there, too. The engine's maintenance shop. We're going to put them all on track six. We'll use track five more as an, as an overflow, should that become necessary. I've not been playing this map for very long. So I'm not sure it'll become necessary. The UMR, my other series I got going, I've been playing that for a long time. And I have that map, map uh, pretty down pat. Diesels are going to go on to this, and then the two ethanols at the front there will go on track. Here we come. Okay, uh, I may have just uh, averted a catastrophe. Uh, she loves to come across sometimes and just walk on my keys and, you know, stuff like that. Pauses the, uh, or cancels the uh, recording, pauses the recording, all that kind of stuff. So I got to watch her. All right.
Here we go. Okay, so uh, that is going to end Thomas's turn. I'm going to put you guys on pause until, uh, you know, I figure out what we're doing next. Andrew, work in the dock area here in Tidewater. That's where we're at. I, I, for some reason, I feel like we haven't been with him in a long, long time. I don't know why. Uh, but Andrew is uh, one of our locals. We have other locals working right now. We got a Sean, a Harry, Dave, Adair. We got all kinds of people working. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. What we're lo working here now is the coal dock. That's the last thing on his uh, switch list. And I'm noticing that there's a giant hole in the dock right here. <laughs> that's not right. That shouldn't be like that. Uh, I probably got to extend the dock there a little bit or put something else down there because it looks pretty bad. Okay, uh, I'll fix that later. Uh, so now we have uh, five coal cars that are empty, and he's only got four more to do. We can do five at a time, so that's nice. Uh, and if we look over here, we've been shuttling them onto this uh, uh, spur, or the sidetrack right here, except I really don't think, because they're, they're pretty much down as far as they can go that way, and on this end, there's no way you're fitting five cars in there. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to borrow the scrapyards track just temporarily, Stick those five on there, unload the last four, and then we'll come back and get them later. All right, that is the plan. Let's move Andrew back. Here he comes. And he's going to have to clear this, tr this switch right here. Uh, the rest of these switches should already be set, right? Yeah, they are. No one else has been working this yard. So should be good. That's a cool shot right there coming out of the yard. Except that we should be blowing the horn because we're going to cross the surface. The service uh, roads here. That a security camera. Never noticed that before. There's a lot of stuff on this route, so it's hard to notice everything. Okay. There's the full ones, and then here are the five empties. I was watching some uh, HO model railroaders do uh, operations. That looks like a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun here. But to do it on an actual model railroad, that's got to be a lot of fun. Those guys doing it look like they're having a lot of fun. Okay. We're just going to go up this way now. Give them some warning. Just the five empties. Uh, I'm getting a little nervous about the length here. No, 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 don't speed up, slow down. Let me stop it right there. How far are we from the end? Okay, no, we still got room, we still got room. Okay, got, got a little nervous. Right, let's try that again now. Keep going. A little bit further. That'll do her right there. Okay, just a temporary store. Do I disconnect the decouple? There we go. shove these back out to the coal dock. We're going to grab a ride. Yes, we are. We're going to get that out of the way. Yes, we are. Bring 
this out. Yeah, when we pause, I'm going to fix that hole. Do not like the hole. We'll see what I can do. We'll find something to cover it up. do it about right there let's check okay, this one's more than fine whoa hi ho and this one's more than fine as well okay so i'd say we have a successful set out uh what am i doing here i'm killing the bell okay and that is all andrew has to do so i put you guys on uh pause again figure out what we're doing next Okay, had to do a little jiggery pokery here. Uh, whose turn it is? It is. Uh, it says Adair uh, down here, but that's not right. It's actually Jeff right here. Whose turn it is? Uh, I went through and listed all my engines. I keep track of all of them. I forgot to set that up for this uh, route, but I did now. Keep track of all their uh, reporting numbers uh, and uh, keep track of how old they are. And then they go. There's so many uh, days of service, depending on how old they are. And I'm assuming the engine is going to last for 40 years. That might be an ask. But here, uh, you know, that's that's the way things roll. Okay. All right. So, uh, it's Jeff's turn. And Jeff uh, is working. He's, he's this SW14, uh, 1500 right here. Uh, and he's working the River Point Yard. And he's going he's gonna to try to get rid of one of his cuts here that he hasn't sitting on this. In fact, he's going to try to get rid of this one right here. Can you see if we look back here? This is the, uh, where's, where's my length? Oh, there's my length cut off right there. Now, this one's already picked up by somebody. Uh, that's already latched on. I think Sean's got this. But this one right here, which is going to Tidewater, uh, has not been lashed up. And we are going to need someone to come over here. So if we look at the weight on this one, it is uh, 2436. And the only local that we have right now that does not have a job is Harry. So we're going to pop over to where Harry is. He's waiting in the shop. He's already been uh, serviced, so he's good to go. There's Harry right there in his C30-7. Uh, dash seven. And, and that is 3,000 horsepower, so that is enough. Uh, so we're going to turn him on. There we go. Is that high beam there? Uh, the high beams look like low beams. I don't know. Let's put it on the, the low beams and keep, pretend it's high beams. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna back him out, and then we're gonna send him uh, over to River Point so he can lash up to those cars that need to be brought over here. Uh, so he's gonna act like uh, a road train in that he is moving cars from one yard to another without actually he's not a local because he's not actually servicing any industries so he's going to be a road train for us uh no actually we're going to have him go down here aren't we yeah instead of having him going through that yard there there we go i'm just setting this up for him this should be all set since uh thomas just did this i'm gonna look at that again now yep yeah, it's right okay here we go These uh, C30-7s, I, I, I'm, I, I, I am like 98% positive they don't make these anymore. <laughs> uh, but I was watching a, a video, uh, I think it was DH Trains or somebody else uh, who's doing live rail fanning, and they had two C30-7s 
two C thirty sevens that we're still working on some little minor railroad somewhere. It's kind of cool to see them. I have them go out here onto the main. All I'm noticing this track I have designated is on the main, but then again there are crossovers to get them off there, so the main goes out of kind of like a one track in this area. At least that's how I'm imagining. Yeah, speed limit 40, and we are putzing along here. But I like to putz. crossing. We'll clear this switch and we'll go across the other level crossing and then the if there's just one service drive we have to cross in order to get up into the Tidewater Yard, the Upper Yard. One service uh, service road here. Okay. Zip around this way and wait for Harry to cross here. Let's see if we can get him to go to River Point from here. Uh, that's too much. Okay, here we go. Uh, River Point. Drive to track mark. River Point. He's on his way. Okay, so that ends Jeff's turn. That's all he had to do was get rid of something in his yard if he needed to, and he did need to, and he did do it. Uh, so I'll put you back on pause, and we'll figure out where we're going next. So here is where we're at right now. Back in the River Point yard, it is Sean's turn, and he's got this long cut of tanker cars all the way back there uh, that he's got to run up to that area that I created on this map. I just looked at it now. Not as nice as the rest of the map. Be prepared for Prepare yourself. Some of the uh, ladders, they got some tight curves on them. <laughs> that wouldn't be in real life. Uh, so maybe I got to work on it a little bit more. In fact, I know I have to, but uh, yeah. So I made a little thing off the side here. We're about to go up there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, another thing I like to mention, I wanted to mention this at the beginning. Uh, uh, one of my uh, viewers, um, uh, uh, what's his name? David Whiteside uh, gave me some really good advice, and that is uh, when to blow the horn and how to blow the horn uh, when you're actually running prototypical with these engines. It's one horn to stop, two to move forward, and three for reverse. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm choosing not to do that. Uh, I don't want to run that prototypical. Uh, but I've always, you know, I, like, I've watched other videos and people do it prototypically. And I hear him blowing the horns every time they know what I mean. So really nice of him to point that out for me. 
uh, as uh, that gentleman was a big help, and now I know how it's supposed to be done. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to run around because it's right up here and to the right, uh, this uh, on the right track here. And so first, we're going to run around to the back of the train, and we're going to shove these all into the yard instead of pulling them all in, as that just makes more sense to me. Okay, so let's apply the handbrake. Go like this. There we go. And we're going to move him forward. And as he's moving forward, we're going to check. That's wrong. Correct. Correct. Okay. He's going to clear this switch right here. He's going to run down track one. Okay. Gonna back down that way. All right, so we're gonna grab onto it. So, uh, in this line of tankers that he has over here that he's gonna run around, uh, he's got 27 of them which are empty, and he's just gonna drop them off there. And then when they need, you know, when they refine the uh, crude oil into diesel or gasoline or whatever it may be uh, they'll give us a call and then we'll set out those tankers for them we're just going to use their yard to store them in and then uh, we are also going to set out eight oil tankers uh, crude oil tankers that they are going to use to process uh, into the various things I mentioned earlier like the diesel and the I don't know, do they do aviation fuel up there? I don't know. I got it set up to do something. I can't remember what. But it's either diesel or uh, gasoline or uh, aviation. I don't, I don't think I'm doing aviation on this. Again, there's the big Purdue grain facility. Purdue does have an order in right now uh, with us. They want uh, 16 cars. We've got 29 sitting over there. Uh, so we're going to have to take 16 of them. Whatever, whatever local comes up first, comes up done first. Andrew only had, like we just saw him, only had four more cars set out. He may be the one that's going to come over here. I don't know yet. Whichever one of my locals is done first, that's the one we're going to bring over. All right. How's this set? Oh, that is correct. Checked on it a little bit late, but it turns out it was correct, so it's all good. All right. go and we're gonna butt up on this side I say butt up that's probably not a real railroading term. I don't know all the real radio, railroading terms. I've never been a railroader. I know some of them. Just not a lot. Okay, so we're going to hold it right there. Uh, he can uh, charge the line. Sure, he can charge the line while we're doing this. Uh, okay, so that's got to be like that. Yes, yes. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. And then we're gonna run down this line to this area up here. And this is the area I built this entire area. So if you're noticing there are some things that aren't so great up here, don't blame the creator of this uh, map. He or she had nothing to do with this. The joint rail map, they didn't do this. this is, I built this refinery here like this, put all these tracks and I was noticing as I looked up here, some of these ladder curves are awfully tight, 
awfully tight. But that's all right. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, and then I built this Walmart distributing area here. Bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff there. Uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? Another ladder there. Then I have this lumber mill that I built here. Here, This is a cold storage area. And then this is two other industries. This might be cold storage here. And maybe this is the green one and that's cold storage. I can't remember. I'm sure I marked it. Uh, I, I, and I'm sure I'm wrong now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back up there because I have to uh, switch the tracks here. Uh, so the first one's out. We're just going to put onto this standby track here, right? So you're going to go right around this very tight corner. And we're going to stick as many as we can right there. And then where is the oil unloading? Uh, right here. It says crude oil there. And then this one here. Yeah, is the diesel tank petrol. That says aviation, but I don't think they're doing aviation here. Okay, got all that all set. Let's roll to the front. And I just click that off, and it's going to click right back on. We're going to roll to the front here. Get under the bridge so we can see what's going on. And here we go. The brakes have been fully charged. Well, not really, but it would take longer than that what I have been watching and other channels. Okay, now these with the green leaf on them are the ones that are empty. You can see here, empty, empty, empty. So the first one that's going to be full is going to be this one right here. Right? Yeah, this one right here with no leaf on it. That is our loaded crude oil, right? Yep, loaded. See it? It's highlighted right there. Okay. So this uh, car tagger acts very much like a uh, switcher, a switch list. And there's somebody over on track one there on the main line. That's probably, uh, what's his name we just set up here, right, Harry? That's probably who that is. Yep, did not take very long for him to get up here. Like he might have just got there. I saw a big burst of exhaust come off. So. All right. Let's ride this up into this new area. Yeah, when I, when I first started looking at this, this uh, map, I thought it needs a little more something in here than what it's got. And that's why I added that extra area up there. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's Harry in his C30-7. A little fly over him. And this track's got a little bit of a grade to it here. Part of the track here I did not build. Uh, this is all uh, jointed rails build here. Uh, and so I'm trying to, trying to think now, what did it look like? Did it just end up here or did it go off map? And then I just chopped it all away and turned it into this thing over here. I don't know. Now you can see the very top of one of the uh, oil things. The, the gas that they're burning off as it comes out. Assuming to relieve pressure and they burn it right away. They don't want to release, uh, you know, gas into the uh, atmosphere. Of course, when you burn gasoline, what do you get? You get carbon dioxide and water. That's what you get. Carbon dioxide and water 
in and of itself is not toxic to the atmosphere, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. But it uh, does cause uh, things like global warming. Turn the bell on and blow the horn. I can't hear anything. It's way, the engine's way too far away. All right. So here we come now. Now we're going to slow this down to 10 miles an hour because this is a mighty tight curve. Holy moly. <laughs> oh! That's a tidy. All right. Look at, look at, look at how those trucks are turning on the bottom there when it comes around. Yeah, that's, that's tight. I may have to fix that, but I may not. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Look look at this. Okay, I gotta get off I gotta get off how tight these curves are. Drive me nuts. Okay. Play the game. Get out of your own head. Okay, I think this is it right here, right? Oh no it's not. We'll slow it down. Where's the first one? further we gotta go we still got some room left it's this one right here is the first crude oil tanker okay stop it right there Okay, yeah, that's the first crude oil right there. And how much room do we have left? Well, we got room for a few more on this track. Okay, so let's drop these here. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's drop these here. There we go. And then... Why didn't I hear it on a couple noise? Then back up. There we go. There's a silent decouple. I even have the uh, the fault switches on there. And these tight curves like this don't really bother me that much. I mean, they're not real railroad would not put anything that you know curvy on there but eh, didn't bother me too much okay <laughs> of course I say that after I just got that oh look how tight this one is oh look how tight this one is <laughs> then I come back and say well, it doesn't really bother me really okay uh there we go. And here's the unloading rack here. Uh, we might be able to fit all nine to get unloaded at the same time. Don't know, but let's take a ride in. Here we go. And uh, as you can see here, like I said, I, I laid this all out myself, which is why I don't build routes. I'm not real good at it. You gotta be able to put a lot of attention to detail and really work things. Not real good. I'd rather play than build. That's a lot of. Ooh, we also. Oh, there's. A, that's a lot of tankers there. We have a lot of tankers this time. Okay. Run these back along the platform here. Hey. 
See, again, we have these coiled hoses underneath there. That's how they're going to drain it. Okay, about right there. Now, we're going to back it up just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to get... Look at that. The slack's going to do it for me. That's nice. Okay, so the slack did it for me there. And uh, and then we look here, and I can see that there's no way this tanker... So we're going to back it up anyway. Of course, are these still oil? Crude oil tanks I got here? Didn't look. I don't see the thing on there. There we go. That should be it right there. Uh, yeah, okay. So these are all crude oil tanks. I know they're all together. A lot of slack going on here. Okay, so let's apply this. Then these are the rest of the empties. It had to be put back on that other track. On that other uh, yard there, on the side yard. There we go. Here's the engine on the other side of that power. There, there it is, way back there. Okay. These last 19 are going to put be put into this yard over here. mile one. There we go. Pushing back onto that same track. They're all empty. That'll be set out later on. Going onto this track way up here. Once they are requested by the company. So that's great. Yeah, at least you should all do the same. Yeah, I can hear a little bit of a uh, flange squeal there. Can you imagine the flange squeal we'll be getting? Oh, look, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the curves again. <laughs> okay. If, uh, you know, you want to leave me a comment about the curves, that'd be nice. Am I, am I being too critical or am I right? <laughs> am I right in being... And criticizing the uh, curvage I have on these tracks. If you happen to know. Or if you just have an opinion. You could... You could leave me one. Okay, that should be good right there. Let's come over here now. And... La, 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 la. Is that going to be far enough away, do you think? Probably. Probably. Ah, yeah, let's do it. We'll back this off now. Here we go. Thinking we'll fit the rest on here. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's take let's take a peek. Eh, could be close. Could be close. Filling up the old refinery yard. I'm looking over here. Pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go down here. Watch from this end. And we'll be able to see how much more. No big deal. I got three more tracks. So 
If we don't fit, we don't fit. Okay. If the cut don't fit, don't quit. Oh, error. Yeah. Because you can just put it on a different track. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, look, we got plenty of clear with those uh, tight corners. Don't don't start on the tight corners again. All right, so apply. We're going to go right here. Now we're going to back this up. Like that. few cars left. We got three left. Jump them onto this track here. Here we go. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Besides the fact that they had Engine looked like it was on a lazy Susan right there. Okay. Well, I'm going to get over here now because I'm thinking this is going to be my screenshot for this one right here. I kind of like this right here. That's nice. That's nice because this is it. Yep. We've reached the end of episode... Stop with the bell, please. Thank you. Uh, we steep reached the uh, end of episode 22 here at Tidewater. I hope you had a good time. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you leave me a comment? Why don't you leave me a like? Any one of those are very helpful. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and if you don't like the fact that a lot of these uh, tracks here have some awful big curves in them, and you're thinking, come on, dude. Well, this just may not be the channel for you. Thank you.